Well, a house lived in by the father of Balboa Park. Allie Wagner is going to give us an insider's look at the historic Marson Mansion coming up. Hey, Allie. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Yep, here he is. And look at this amazing house. I bet you probably haven't been inside for a tour. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about the design of the house, tell you how you can come and check it out coming up. Good morning, San Diego. We'll be right back after this. All right, a well-known local interior designer, Joan Peters, is giving us a tour of the historic Marston House in Balboa Park today. From one little piece of history to another, yeah. right? Allie Wagner is live at the Marston House with more on uh, a special tour. Good morning, Allie. Hey, Allie. Good morning. Yeah, in fact, I was just commenting, look, this paper looks like January 24th, 1927. So... There you go. There's that right there. George Marston owned the Marston um, department store downtown, and it later became the Broadway, and it later became Broadway. Later became Macy's. So he was a, he built his fortune being in the department store. It was like the Marshall Fields of Southern California, the Marston. Oh, incredible! Store. So yeah, it's exciting. Let's talk because we've been looking a lot at the design of yeah. the house and the simplicity of it, which exactly. is something people are getting back to now. Mm -hmm. And we're we are now in the butler's pantry so Kevin if you can get a shot of this is so interesting to me this is how they this is actually how they put their dishes without doors this um, without doors to open this was really important to them because they didn't need space in the room to open doors up so use they use the draperies this is a perfect example of what we can do in our very small condos in San Diego yeah. because we I did one for a millennial couple and it was a small bedroom with no closet so what we we did was where the wall where the bed was going to go against we brought the bed out three feet we attached draperies to the top of the ceiling and left spaces open to get behind them and that became their walk-in closet so again, the bed was against draperies, the artwork was on the wall, it was simple but very, very functional, yeah. and we incorporated another whole closet for them. So those are the challenges we have today that we can learn from history. Yeah. Very exciting. And this house is so neat. In fact, some of the elements of the kitchen are from the original uh -huh. or from 1920s. I know the hood and the kitchen yeah. there is actually from the era, and that's a lot of what is created in here, is that they're trying oh, to represent what it was like exactly. at the time and, and what we can take from it right and something that's really neat too we'll go back into this area here which is the dining room i am in, obsessed with this built-in hutch essentially all that is in here function it, it's all about function in the arts and crafts movement and the uh, minimalist movement but so everything is pretty much built in we can't always do that today but in the arts and crafts movement of course there was so much more space but it was all about function and using every nook and cranny every open space in fact if we have time there's another area that's a perfect example of using yeah. using an alcove that was produced by the architect just for just for function just for function and that's exactly what it is so you can come you can check out they do tours here at the house Yeah. once again it's friday saturday and sunday between 10 and 4 o'clock okay so you can check that out also if you go to joan peters design.net net, N -E and and right on the home page there'll be the marston house and it will be more information and more tours real tours of the house yeah it's so great all right guys we're going to send it back over to you piece of history right here in san diego yeah Thank very you, cool. Allie. Thanks, Allie. Have a good rest of the day.